It is a strange exercise to look at the current state of affairs in the world. There is no shortage of concerning and pressing matters, and yet there is also much to be said about the progress we have made. After all, what is life if not paradoxical? And how can we understand and appreciate the goods of the world, such as justice, equality, and peace, without also acknowledging the darkness that takes place in their absence? We know both these forces are in constant struggle with one another. The most pressing question then is, which will we allow to prevail? On one hand, we have the sweet taste of righteousness, of a world where the suffering of others warrants and demands immediate action. On the other, we have its opposite. How then, in our days, with our thoughts and with our actions, are we tipping the scale? Now I say to you, channeling the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who no doubt channeled the words and sentiments of those before him, the moral arc of history is indeed long. It is filled with despots and heroes alike. It is filled with those whose intentions are questionable, but who hide behind the guise of certainty. And it is filled with those who may not know everything about the world they inherit, but are fighting to make it better anyway. That is, fighting to see that the moral arc of history bends towards justice. Now, I would be doing a grave disservice to claim that the arc of history bends on its own. To assert that in the end good will prevail driven by some unseen force. It is a comforting thought, but an absolving one as well. So let me be as clear as I possibly can. The moral arc of history bends because we bend it. Because we, those who pain at the sight of injustice, those who pick up the noble mantle passed down to us by our ancestors in the fight for what's right. Those who know that equality and peace have never been passive descriptors. We bend it. When we take action small and large, we bend it. When we make an active decision to have compassion for ourselves and for our neighbors, we bend it. When we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the fight for a more just world than the one we have inherited, we bend it. With our minds, with our spirits, and with our actions, we bend the moral arc of history towards justice. Now our time on earth is a gift. It is short but it is consequential. I'm thinking now of the words of William Shakespeare. All the world's a stage and all the men and women are merely players. So I stand before you and I pose the question, what then is our role? What is our birthright and what shall be our legacy? The only time we can control is the present, so I implore you to use it to do what is right. With our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Let us direct the arc of history in such a way that there be no question of where our values lie. And then let us hear the sounds of the bells of freedom ringing over the horizon as we bend it evermore towards justice. Thank you.